Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving an interesting exponential equation. I guess we could call this a homemade exponential equation because I haven't seen this problem anywhere else. If you do see, please let me know. Probably after I make a video on this, you might see this problem somewhere else. Anyways, we have x plus 1 over x to the power of x equals square root of 10 divided by 2. So, we can also talk about, if you have time left, uh, how to come up with these prob uh, problems like these. Very easy, maybe you already know. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to manipulate the right-hand side, since I don't really have much to do on the left-hand side, except for making a common denominator. I'm not sure if that's going to help. But I'd like to start with the square root of 10. So what can I do? Well, I have a power x, so and the answer is a radical, so that kind of tells me maybe x is a fraction, like one half or one third or one fourth, right? And if x is a fraction, uh, the numerator, I mean the base, is also going to be a fraction. And then fraction raised to a fraction power, hmm, that's going to be interesting. Let's see what happens. So I'm going to start off with square root of 10 divided by 2. I'd like to express it as square root of 10 divided by square root of 4, because 2 can be expressed as a radical, right? And then put these two together, because we have a nice rule with radicals that tells us if you have the square root of x over the square root of y, that can be written as the square root of x over y, as long as y does not equal 0, okay? So we can go ahead and put these under the same radical and write it as square root of 10 over 4. But 10 over 4, or 10 fourths, can be simplified because there's a common factor of 2. So this is going to turn into the square root of 5 halves. Nice. So I was able to express it as square root of a single thing as opposed to a fraction, an irrational divided by an integer, which is an irrational again. But this is going to be more helpful. Now, what am I going to do with this? Well, I'm not going to stop here because we don't have a radical on the left, or at least it's not radical looking, it's exponential looking. So let's make this exponential. Let's exponentialize it. I don't want to say exponentiate because that means something else. Let's just exponentialize it. I don't know if it's a word, I just made it up. Anyway, so how can I write square root of 5 halves? I can write it as 5 halves to the power one half, because that's what the square root means for real numbers. Obviously, for complex numbers, there are two square roots, three cu cube roots, so on and so forth. That's a different story. Let's stick with real numbers. Now, this would be a good question. Are there complex solutions? Who knows, right? Check it out, and please let me know. So, let's go ahead and set the original expression to equal to this. So, we have x plus 1 over x to the power x equals 5 halves to the power 1 half. And did I tell you I'm going to show you a graph at the end? Because you're probably curious about what the graph of, what the graph, what the graph of this function looks like, right? Is it increasing? Is it decreasing? Does it have a maximum or a minimum? And so on and so forth. And we can talk about that too. So, but let's go ahead and do a little bit of one-to-one uh, -one correspondence. What do I mean by that? I want to break down the base to make it look like the left-hand side. I have a number plus it's reciprocal. So the question is, can 5 halves be expressed as a sum of two numbers, uh, such as their reciprocals, or sum of two reciprocals? What happens if you add two reciprocals? 1 plus 1, 2. Okay. 3 plus 1 third. You get 10 thirds. Okay. Can I get 5 halves? Sure. 2 plus 1 half. Is going to give you 5 halves. Great, so we can do it. How did we know that? Well, break down the 5 halves into that, and you'll see 2 plus 1 half is equal to that. Cool, cool. Now, here's what we're going to do. x plus 1 over x to the power x equals 2 plus 1 half to the power 1 half. And looking at this expression, here's my, here's my first impression. Well, if x is equal to 2, this seems to be working. And this seems to be working. But this is not working. Why? Because if x is equal to 2, it can't equal 1 half at the same time. So that's a contradiction, which means it's impossible. It's not going to happen. 
which also tells you that x equals 2 is not a solution. At least you know it's not. Now, let's go back and use something else. So x equals 2 doesn't work. At least we know that. Let's go ahead and take note. x equals 2 does not work. The other option is setting the x equal to. Remember the uh, in the previous problem, I think, was it two problems before? I can't remember. Yes, actually, it was the f um, function. Yes, right? No, it was with the exponential, or the diophantin. Anyways, okay. With the 3 to the power x minus x cubed, right? We kind of matched them up. So we can also match the first with the second, like this. Does that make sense? Let's check it out. If x is 1 half, 1 over x is 2, and x is 1 half. So we're all good. This checks out. That's the only option. So x equals 1 half actually works. But the million dollar question is, is that the only solution? Or are there any other solutions? We're going to look at the graph at the end, but right now we kind of need to show that this function is, you know, behaving in a nice way. So maybe, maybe there's more than one solution. And one thought that I came up with was first I, I came up with the one half and then I said immediately, hey, because we have x plus one over x in the base, I could definitely switch it around but then the power did not comply. You see, we have a fixed power which has to agree with this. But if you can find an expression whose, I don't know, something like, I don't think it's going to work besides one. So because the only number that whose reciprocal equals itself is one and negative one. Anyways, that didn't work. But at least I tried. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to look at this as a function f of x equals x plus one over x to the power x. Now, I can kind of express this as e to the power ln x plus 1 over x to the power x because you probably know that e to the power ln something, let's call it s, s for something, is s, right? By definition. So, how does this help? I can bring the x down. You could also ln both sides, but that's a longer method, which is something that I've been using all the time, but I've been recommended to use this. This is, I don't know, it's probably easier. So, this is my function. And I can definitely differentiate it, right? Let's go ahead and differentiate it. What do we get? e to the power something is e to the power something. The same thing, right? Times the derivative of the inside. The chain rule says you must differentiate the power because it's different from x. How do you differentiate it? The derivative of x, which is 1, times the second function. By the way, this is the product rule, plus the derivative of the second. Oh, man, that's like ln of a sum, right? But don't worry, we're going to figure it out. How do you um, differentiate ln u? u prime over u. That was the rule, right? So we're going to differentiate x plus 1 over x first. This is 1 minus 1 over x squared. Also know that the derivative of 1 over x is negative 1 over x squared. Memorize it. Divided by itself, so which is x plus 1 over x. That's complicated, right? times x. Okay, this is our function. This is not going to be 0. When I set it equal to 0, this must be 0. And from there, you're going to get some expressions, set it equal to 0, find some values, blah, blah, blah. That's too long. Okay, anyways, uh, you can continue and finish up, but I just want to show you the graph real quick. Here's the graph of y equals x plus 1 over x to the power x, and apparently, this is an increasing function. So it's going to intersect the horizontal line y equals square root of 10 over 2 at one point, that happens to be at x equals 1 half, so that is the only solution to this equation. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.